guys, Allison here, and welcome to my channel. Let's chat about getting your master's. There are a couple certification people that you can get your master's through. Um, NDGAA is a real popular one. IPG is also another really popular one. And I think there's a couple others. Um, but today I'm going to specifically talk about NDGAA, which is National Dog Groomers Association. I left out an A, but it's fine. I recently have started the path on trying to get my master's and I did not realize what that meant or how hard it was gonna be. I thought because I went to a grooming school and I like did all these classes and stuff, I was a certified groomer, but turns out I'm not. So the only way you can be certified or have like mastered or whatever is to go through one of these programs and do all their testing. You wanna to go to the NDGAA website and there is all of the, the certification sites available and where they're at. You want to find ones that are near you because um, you probably are going to have to travel. I went to Tennessee to take my um, non-sporting certification and I'm from Kentucky so I had traveled to Tennessee. It was the closest one for me. You have to take one of their classes at any point in time before you finish your four. Um, you have to take non-sporting, sporting, sporting long-legged terrier, and short-legged terrier. So that makes three written tests, because you have terrier is just one test, non-sporting, and then sporting, and then four dogs you have to groom, because terrier you have long-legged and short-legged, and then a dog in sporting and a dog in non-sporting. There are only certain breeds for each category that are allowed for the testing, and you can find that all on their website. So let's talk about non-sporting because that's what I just did. I basically got all my study material. The most important things to study, to use to study, is the notes from the grooming table book and just the classic AKC dog book. I basically read through my group that I was going over for non-sporting and just wrote down, took notes, and that's how I studied. And I made sure that I knew how to groom all the dogs through notes of the grooming table. So you do have to provide your own dog for the testing. Um, for non-sporting, you can do the Shans, Poodles, and there are a couple others, I think. But I didn't really care much past that because I have a Bichon. I was going to do a Bichon. But whatever breed it is that they have you groom, you basically have to do a show trim on that dog. So it's not like pet grooming in the salon every day, okay? It's like the picture perfect dogs you see uh, that the amazing, amazing, amazing people do. So with that being said, I did my dog, Nikki, and I barely passed <laughs> on my haircut and I've been studying that haircut for like two years so after realizing that it was that hard I was like okay because that was my most confident haircut so um, I'm gonna probably wait on the others and really make sure I know that haircut but <laughs> for every group like I said you have to groom the dog and take the test so I groomed my dog first they you have to go to the site they have you, it's almost like competition, and you're timed, and the certifiers will prejudge your dog, and then they will judge your dog when you're finished, when time is up. So you go through all that, and they give you like a grade. And then um, you take your written test. So your written test is over all the non-sporting that you just studied, all the dogs and non-sporting. And I believe it was 100 questions. You have to average and 85 over all of the groups, so over non-sporting, sporting, and terriers, you have to average an 85 to be able to take your masters. So that's including the grades you get from grooming the dog and the grades you get from taking the written test. 
And then the other groups are the same way. Sporting, you're going to take a sporting written test, and then you're going to have to groom a sporting breed. Um, they did English cockers, American cockers, setters. There were several of them you can do. Um, and I don't believe they require you to hand strip. They just want you to know that you do have to hand strip those dogs. You just have to verbally explain everything if you're not actually going to be hand stripping them. Um, and then your terriers, you take one written terrier test, you have to groom two dogs, a short-legged terrier, which would be like a Scotty or a Westie, and your long-legged terrier, which could be a miniature schnauzer, wire fox terrier, any of those. I also don't believe you have to hand strip either, but you have to tell them these are hand strip breeds and blah, 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 blah. So after you get done with all of that, and you don't have to take it all at the same time, I went to one certification program thing and I only took one test you know people take like years and years and years like five years and ten years to finish all of these before they even take their masters uh, and you can retake them so people fail I was one of the only ones that did non-sporting that passed with the Pashan that weekend when I went so it's like tough okay like I don't want to like scare anyone but I definitely thought I was prepared because I was like Sean, I got this. I know this trim and I was not prepared. So just really study and try and get every bit of information you can if taking your master's is something you want to do. I definitely would like to take some private lessons. Like just try and get every bit of information you can before you take that test. Once you're done with all that, you're going to move on as long as you average above an 85. If not, you might have to retake something. But once you get your average above 85 and you're done with all of that, you're going to take your big master's test, okay? So that is just one written test, just one written test of 400 questions. And, oh, I forgot to mention, the other tests, they're all multiple choice or true-false. So it makes your life a lot easier. Or matching. There's no, like, fill in the blank or anything. So breathe, all right? But then you've got your master's test that's 400 questions. I do believe that that is also multiple choice, true, false, matching, that type of thing. So that test is over all, everything. Like it's over cats, it's over like all the dogs, the groups, like fleas, it's over like pest control, it's over like CPR stuff. It is oh, like the whole nine yards. So once you're at that point and you take that test, if you pass, you are a officially a master groomer and you can add that nationally certified master groomer in CMG at the end of your name which is pretty awesome so that is the process of how you get your masters just very briefly because I know there are so many questions and everything but that is how you get started you want to go to the NDGA website there's also the IPG, so NDGA is national, IPG is international, <laughs> but um, the national one, just go to their website, it's got all their information, there's even a book from them you can order for like 50 bucks, and it tells you which dogs you're allowed to use for which categories, what they're looking for, basically just breed standard, which is why I said they want a show trim, so make sure you know how to do it. <laughs> so that's it. Honestly, quick and easy spiel on the process of getting your master's. You go to the website, find a certification site that's near you, go study, use the notes from the grooming table book, use the AKC book. Um, you do have to provide your own dog, so you might have to borrow a dog, or if you have one of those breeds that you're allowed to use, awesome. Um, and you groom your dog, you take your written test, and on to the next one until you you get it so but it's a really awesome process and I really encourage everybody to do it because I I want to hold us to a higher standard than everyone else does so if you have any other questions feel free to comment below I know I didn't like go in depth but I just wanted to explain the process on how you go about getting your masters um, if I don't know the answer I will find out the answer for you feel free as always to message me on Instagram I will be posting when I post new videos on there um, you all are always 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 welcome to message me don't forget to subscribe because 
it makes me happy when I see that subscription number go up. <laughs> but for real, I only do this, guys, for your all's benefit. I spend a lot of time making these videos and editing them, and um, I already know this stuff, so I'm truly just trying to help you guys out. So I really appreciate it when you guys appreciate it, and it is helpful to somebody out there. So if you ever need anything, let me know, guys. But until next time, thanks. Thanks. <laughs>